Must be one of those Rex Skirmish dolls. Do your worst, Dr. Despicable! You'll never kill Rex Skirmish! Losing blood! Guess this is the end of old Rex Skirmish! Gee, Sam! If you don't like the gift, just say so next time! Did you come to enjoy my wonderful toys? <laughs> I thought I'd never be rid of those blasted types. Oh, listen to that silence. <laughs> it's heaven. Thank you, Sam and Max. You have been very good boys. But as long as Satan owns our souls, we have to stay put. Mr. Bliss, Are I... you Bliss? Yes, I know. I took a great risk hiring a sentient bacteria to work for us. But the numbers are making me believe I made a mistake. Oh, don't say that! I still believe you're doing a great job! Oi! Diablo! Not you again. Go away. Have a wonderful day! We're not getting that guy's attention until we bring the whole place down. Now, my next dish is based on a favorite recipe of Grandpa Stinky's. <laughs> which I'm taking to the ninth circle of hell. 
To the base of milk and pickle juice, just add a little chocolate-covered horseradish. Damn! And after the break, another circle! Woo! -hoo! Woo! Ah, get a hold of yourselves. Nothing is that exciting. Hiya, Stinky. What's cooking? <sighs> I've been wondering when you two would show up. He remembered us! We were right all along. Girl Stinky really did murder you. Maybe next time a couple of travelers from the future come to you with a warning, you'll pay attention. Murdered my impacted colon? Twas naught but a mountain climbing accident that felled old Stinky. Did you say you were killed in a mountain climbing accident? Aye, I, I was in the Himalayas, halfway up the north face of the Devil's Nipple, when Miss Port Cables just fell off. If only someone had developed a better adhesive. Your hell is just being on a TV show? I thought for sure a mean old coot like you would end up buried up to your neck in poo or something. Yeah, this doesn't seem so bad. Not bad. Just look at that crowd hanging on her every word. And they've got the nerve to reduce me to her... To her sous chef! They can't appreciate our real genius of the culinary dark arts! So Stinky's got her own show. What's the big deal? Every second this show stays on the air is like swallowing another handful of acid-dipped razor blades, twisting and churning in my gut. Well, as long as you aren't bitter. So what is the deal between you and Girl Stinky, anyway? She was my protege. I made her what she is today. But now they call me her apprentice. Pah! We'll let you get back to the show. Yeah, we can't wait to try out Girl Stinky's next dish. You're so lucky to get to work with her. Ah! We did warn you about Max's special dietary needs, right? Growing Up Stinky, The Early Years Trashy celebrity biographies and hell are a natural combination. How are you folks enjoying the show? I thought the casino was nice, but this? What a treat! I ain't no expert on food or nothing, but that Stinky's a master chef. I think we're gonna have to come down here for vacation every year. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Tyrone! Uh, 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 uh. Now, Miss Stinky, I've warned you about the responsibilities that come with hosting a live program. It won't happen again, I promise. Okay, just keep the language clean and that'd be fabulous! I'd hate to have to cancel such a wonderful show! I will slaughter you all! But the cooler's not for food. It's for the inevitable organ transplants following the show. They may have been killed by a giant robot, but at least the rats got to see a true celebrity in action. Hey, someone opened the two-teeth drawer. Wow, Jimmy's personal file is huge. He must have been committing a dozen unpardonable sins a week. Slacker.
What's going on here, cops? We have set up an emergency triage station to care for the rats injured in the recent robot attack. I need 20 milligrams of monosodium glutamate stat. How come there's only one rat here? We're not very good at medicine, apparently. <laughs> it's really pretty sad. What car upgrades are you offering this time? Turn your vehicle into a super fast nitro burning funny car! For a limited time only. Offer and Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh yeah! I can take that mother out of the street away, push her to the red line till she screams, pop the clutch, kick you the afterburners, and smoke them pigs as I sail over the county line! Woo! You can't see over the wheel, Max. Fascist. We want that nitrous upgrade for our car. I want to go fast enough to blow the stink off of Sam! We're sorry, but your vehicle has... gone on to a better place! We are sorry for your loss. Can't you fix it? We're afraid the car is completely dead. Repairing it is beyond our current skill level. <laughs> it still had so much to hit for. Have you been working on any new cool augmented reality games? We're sorry, we've been too busy tending to the injured and infirm. <laughs> Even my coin slide hurts. Check back with us later. Is it my imagination, or is Bluster Blaster acting weirder than normal? He suffered severe injuries while testing an experimental wireless antenna. <laughs> you guys, you guys, I'm in so much pain right now. We have been using laughing gas to keep him sedated. Where are you guys getting enough nitrous to do car upgrades? Bluster Blaster was given laughing gas to ease his suffering after his recent injury. Wait, you've been selling the leftovers from his prescription? And these guys are the only ones not going to hell. Oh, the irony. So long, cops. Stay virtuous! Harry, how'd you get back up here so fast? Guys, I'm omnipresent. Now, keep it down. These mortals can't see or hear me. Please, Death, you can't take Timmy. He ain't never hurt nobody. Not damn. What are you doing up here? I'm looming. Part of the job description. You wouldn't be so cruel as to take poor tiny Timmy away, would you? Just look at the kid. He's got the life expectancy of a tomato and a knife commercial. Chartless fiend. Can I watch? I don't see what everybody's so upset about. He's going to a better place than this one. Well, that doesn't really narrow it down much. Heaven, dimwit! Timmy seems like a nice enough kid. Why not give him a break? It's out of my control. He could go at any moment. But don't worry. A kid with his permanent record is definitely going to have it. How's the death business going? Finally slowed down, now that those rats have shuffled off. But it'd be easier if I didn't have to cover every death myself. An assistant or a partner would help everything. Yeah, that's what you think at first. You've got to take care of everybody that dies all by yourself? No, it's not as bad as it sounds. All my travel and expenses are covered. Take it easy, Harry. Hiya, Jimmy. How's the kid? The doctor says that a fall from a great height is the worst possible thing for somebody with terminal Tourette's. We are doing all that we can. I'll give you everything I got, Doc. I've done a lot of bad stuff in my life, but Timmy's an innocent. It's Timmy Two Teeth's permanent record. Looks like he's led a pretty sin-free life. I always knew that kid was all talk and no action. <laughs>